What's up YouTube, this is Shadowboy and I'm back with yet another video. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a review on this Cheetah Windbreaker I got from Golf Wang Summer 2019. So let's get right into it, guys. All right, so this jacket, we're doing a review on for the Cheetah Windbreaker. Um, the Digi Cheetah is what they're calling it for this time of 2019 draft. And I gotta say, I really like it, guys. Um, we're gonna get a little bit more in depth with it, but this did come out, like I said, for the summer 2019 draft. This was the second draft. And when we were seeing all the new stuff coming out for the summer line, I did have my eye on this. There was a couple things I liked. Quilted Golf La Fleur jacket with the floral reversible print on there. Flame shorts, but this one, it seemed like I thought it was gonna be one of those ones a lot of people were uh, looking at, but it was a sleeper that a lot of people were not paying attention to. And I definitely had my eye on it. Being an anorak jacket, which if you don't know what that means, that basically means that it's a pullover jacket um, with a quarter zip usually is how that tends to be in a kangaroo pouch on the front. And those don't happen too often for golf wing. A lot of them, like the uh, plaid one that they made a long time ago, I thought that one was really cool. And they barely made any of those. Um, some people say there's less than 100 out there. I don't really know the facts on that. But uh, besides the point, uh, anorak jackets are pretty hype when they do come out from golf wing and I don't own any so I was really excited for it another reason I was excited is because I really need a more of a raincoat kind of jacket with a hood I don't have any jackets with a hood really I have like one maybe two but nothing that I like to wear in a more fashionable or enjoyable sense it's just more like I have a black windbreaker that I can put on when it's raining so I'm really excited to wear this um, just during this time period of fall uh, this is like a necessity around uh, Midwest area, I feel like. I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this jacket. Now, as for the details, um, this jacket was $150 uh, with shipping and tax in it. I kind of feel like that was a bit much for this. It is a thin jacket. It is very thin. It's very lightweight, though. In some ways, you can say that's being cheap in quality, while in other ways, you can say that's very functional, easier to breathe in, easier to just move around in. So I can see both sides of it. Being the fact that I paid $150 for it, uh, it does feel, for me personally, I feel a little bit um, slightly like I didn't get my money's worth as far as quality, um, but at the end of the day, I do know I'm gonna wear this a ton. Uh, I do want a jacket like this, a rain jacket like this. For me, it's not that big of a deal to spend that much money on a jacket like this, but if I didn't need a lightweight hooded uh, rain jacket like that, then I would definitely have to say that this probably wouldn't be worth it in terms of quality. Uh, as for the design itself, it's just the Digi uh, cheetah print all over. One of my favorite pieces from Golf Wang in the past was actually the print button up that they did. The Tyler actually wore this a ton in the time period between Cherry Bomb and Flower Boy. And I ended up getting it because I saw him wearing it at a concert and I wore it a ton too. I still do, I love this piece a lot. One of my favorite pieces in a huge sleeper hit, I think, from Golf Wang. I was really excited to see Cheetah was back in this whole thing. And in a little bit of a different form, this is Digi print instead not the regular print. Personally, I would have rather that it was in the more regular print, and I wasn't really feeling the whole digi idea, um, but after seeing it in person, it's not that big of a deal. A lot of the times, you can't even tell that it's digi, actually. It looks like it's just regular um, print, the regular cheetah print. Really not that big of a deal unless you look super close at it. Even though the digi I don't prefer, I do appreciate it for being just a fresher take of this, not just a reskin or a recolored version of this print. Um, so for that, I do accept it for what it is. As far as the detailing on this jacket, I think the detailing is on point. It's nothing too crazy. I really appreciate how the zipper you can see is a contrasting color uh, that just shows that they put a little bit more thought into it. You got the adjusters on the hood here, and then we actually have them down by the waist as well. No adjusters on the wrist. Uh, then you have the golf logo in orange as well on the kangaroo pouch. I think that's a sweet touch. You got Velcro on it. I really like all the touch on the different accent pieces of orange. I love orange, obviously. If you actually look on the adjustables on here, 
It actually has a little bit of yellow in it, which I thought was a very nice touch. It just has a lot of detail in that sense, and I think that's really cool. Um, I'm gonna show some quick little looks of me wearing it on body um, from afar. Let me know what you guys think of this piece uh, personally. I think that it looks super good on, and it's surprising to me, it, this is still on Golf Wing's website right now, and I'm beyond shocked that this piece didn't sell out. Last time I checked, there were all the sizes still available, and that was shocking to me because Anorak jackets from Golf Wing usually sell out pretty well, and this was a unique design, and I think a very well thought out design. I can agree that it isn't necessarily worth $150, but I think if you like the design and you want a jacket like that and you know you're gonna wear it a lot, you're definitely gonna be happy with what you have here. Is it overpriced? Yes. Is the quality not the best? Yes. All in all though, it does get the job done. It has a lot of attention to detail and it is a really cool piece. And obviously you're not coming to golf for the really top notch quality and you're not coming to golf to get a good price. Um, so I think for what it does though is really good. And to be honest with you, this is a piece that I'm really enjoying a lot right now and it got me really more interested in the newer golf. It made me a little bit more excited for the newer golf. So I'm definitely keeping my eye out for the new pieces that come out in the future, whether it be with sneakers from them or with just their golf drops in general. Let me know down below what you guys are thinking of this piece. Do you think it was slept on? Do you think, eh, I'm not really feeling this piece at all or what? And what do you think of this cheetah anorak and that's pretty much going to conclude the video guys please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you haven't already for more golf wing more sneakers more clothing more shuttle boy and this is shuttle boy guys and i'm out guys peace